Hey, Manny Fish. Still the 6th of November, 2017. And, man, I want to show you a little more of just how crazy this world is, right? This is this same calendar from earlier today, the Jewish calendar. This is today. And I decided I'd just click on this little daily Jewish history, right? And they are celebrating Albert Einstein. And, you know, for those of you who don't know, I mean, it's not going to tell you in Wikipedia that, you know, he basically was a Kabbalah mysticist. He was into black magic, essentially. He was a member of the synagogue. Yeah, he was a Jew. I didn't know. He never proclaimed, as far as I know, that he was a Jew. But nonetheless, he was. And I guarantee you, I absolutely 100% guarantee you that through Kabbalah and through this sorcery and magic with numbers and formulas, he learned from the master how to fool everybody. And his theory, you have to remember people, it's still a theory to this day, relatively, relativity. And it revolutionized the scientific approach to pretty much everything. Yes, even gravity is a theory. Okay? And on this date in 1919, of course, right? The New York Times, which is like Satan's personal newspaper, always has been. Things haven't changed, folks, since 1920s and 30s or 1800s. It's always been this same crew generation after generation okay they are the synagogue of satan period so he has this headline in the new york times declaring you gotta watch these words the einstein theory triumphs and you gotta remember in their world a triumph is like the equivalent of a conquest a conquering a mocking essentially they fooled the world and so it goes on and on he gets the nobel prize ah we know how noble they are giving obama a peace prize his first day in office and uh you think they were different back then he was into the mysteries that's what he liked cosmology and physics and baffled scientists for decades so he leaves berlin uh, when Hitler comes to full power there, 1933, I guess. And uh, he winds up in America, and he right off the bat, he gets himself a nice job at Princeton University. And Princeton is one of the member universities of your skull and bones types. That's what they are. And uh, he sent a personal letter to Roosevelt urging him to study nuclear fission for military purposes. This is before the bomb. So our friend Einstein urged the president to start building a bomb, essentially, before. Okay, this is the same old argument we get all the time. We got to do it before they do it, right? So we could do it before the Nazis get it. But after the war, he lobbied against nuclear weapons. And he's the one famous for quoting, I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Okay? Instrumental in finding Brandeis. You have to look into these institutions and understand what you're talking about. These Kabbalists, these Masons, these... They're all kinds of names and clubs and everything you can think of. But these, go, these people go back all the way to the beginning, folks. All the way to the beginning. And they do their work in the dark. That's what they do. I mean, come on. Israel even asked him to be their president in 1952. Israel was only four years old, basically, right? Come on. And if you've looked at their buildings over there where they conduct government business... I forget the name of the building, but it is literally, it's got pyramids on the roof. It's just loaded with Masonic symbolism, and it's just from the old school, the mysteries. And, and they've just been fooling the world 
all along. But we see them now. That's the key. You see them. Okay, now we see them. That's scary. Well, it's only scary if you don't know Jesus. So if you don't, then go get to know him. Go ask him. Into your heart. Sincerely. Okay? Yeah. And also, Einstein, guess who his favorite author was? Can't make this up. Miss Helena Blavatsky. And again, if you don't know about Miss Blavatsky, I will leave a link and go beyond the wiki. They don't tell you nearly everything at all. Okay? And, oh, I, I just couldn't leave this whole thing without doing one thing. Albert Einstein, right? He was born 14 March 1879. He died 18 April 1955. I just had to do it. It's just how my brain operates. So I go back to April 18th, 1955 to today. And it's 22,848 days. 888. And we can do some things with this, but I'm not going to fudge anything. But what really kind of freaked me out was look at the weeks. 32, 64. Flip those individually, mirror them. And you have 23, 46. Isn't that freaky? And there's more. But yeah, these things are all connected. And, and that's how the world is. But you, you start to see it, understand it, and literally delight in it, in a sense, because you have that real, true, honest safety and security that only Jesus can give you. So... That being said, I thought that was a cool little tidbit to end up my day here. Mr. Einstein and Helena Blavatsky. Formulas, numbers, trickery, and sorcery. That's what they use. So be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 